Damiana Garcia. We're here for the Outfest 2010 launch party. All the LGBT filmmakers are inside, hot with anticipation for the big fest this summer. Let's go meet them. Hello. My favorite lady, Kirsten, right here. <laughs> Hi. Now, you are the, the, the head honcho of, of Outfest. That's what they tell me. No, I cannot wait for the festival this year. It's going to be an incredible <laughs> festival. So many good movies. I'm here with <laughs> film critic extraordinaire Alonzo Duraldi. Hi, darling. So, are you looking forward to the films in the fest this year? Absolutely. These, these LGBTs, the, the things they dream up. The, they're glibbing all over the place. But I think I got a little glibbing on my shoe on my uh, way in. Yeah, I was going to say, but I didn't want to, you know. Yeah, I was trying to be discreet. I'm trying to be a lady. We we have a star in our midst. Hello, I'd love a little salon takeover myself. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fabulous. Great to see you. You too. Well, you know, okay, so this bob, you know, I've been doing a lot of home care for my bob, but do you have any expert advice you can give me for maintenance of the bob? Yeah, get a new one. It's time for a new one. Just trade it in. <laughs> it's time for a new bob. A little blonder and fresher. Yes, I need to freshen up the bob. Freshen it up a little. Any dish on your salon? I will be on the road very soon, so there'll be 10 episodes of dish that I can give you it on the road, scissors in hand. Who knows what we'll find? Cockroaches, hairballs, dirty sinks. Sometimes the cockroaches in the hair. <laughs> Very true. Lindsay Hahn wrote a song for her film, so you guys are promoting this like television show, True Blood, that she happens to be on. We have someone from True Blood here. This is a scoop. This is a scoop. I'm a fang banger. Evan Rachel Wood and I are lovers. The, queen, the vampire queen. Yeah. Can't give me any spoilers about the new season, but maybe we can do a little free associative wordplay and just <laughs> See what happens. Vampire. Blood. Sookie's Fate, season three. Blood. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Being on the set, whenever Alexander Skarsgård walks by, you're just salivating. I know I salivate on my screen when I'm watching. I can say I've seen Alex in his underwear, and it's it's a good thing. It can only be a good thing. <laughs> we have a film legend here, Randall Kleiser. Hello. Hi there. How are you? And, and you've been such a supporter of Outfest for so long. Yes. Well, you know, we had a, uh, a great sing-along years ago here. They were the first to figure it out, but now the Hollywood Bowl has caught on. See, look, look what you guys started. Look what you did. The gays are always first. I think so. Real, real trendsetters at the forefront. I have the editor of one of my favorite publications. Hello, Adam. Hello. How are you? I think there's probably some cute butts around this party. There probably are. I don't know why we haven't seen anybody drop in trow yet. Give a few more drinks at the open bar, and then I think we might see some trow drop. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, those stunning blue eyes. <laughs> Thank you. You are the director of the Closing Night Film Sport. Yes, writer director. I got to tell you, I read the description in the program. I'm tantalized. I'm intrigued. Oh, thank you. Well, there's people in there. They've got names like Tootsie Roll and Betsy Biatch, Lucy Gooseys. I feel like I've known a few Lucy Gooseys in my time. I'm not even sure what I mean by that, but <laughs> we have Mr. Hello. Mike Rose. Hello. Now, Mike, so you made Fagney uh, and Gacy, which is the gay version of Cagney and Lacey. Lacey. So did you pick up any uh, crime-solving smarts through making the series? Um, the police did arrive at, at, on the set one time as we were shooting. The police showed up because we were being loud in my apartment and saying things about terrorists and bombs, and we were all cuffed. You know, what a queer outlaw, you know, getting cuffed for your queer I'm filmmaking. I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to do it. Oh. Hello, ma'am. You look wonderful. Oh, thank you, sir. This is my comedy wife. That's right. My oh. comedy husband. We've done many, many projects shows. together. Many shows. We did a show, an improv show in Westwood for two people, oh. and they were Hungarian. Uh, Hungarian. Hungarian. They not speak English, and we asked them for a celebrity, and they went, Ronald Reagan! That's how far okay. we've come. That's such an L.A. story, such a classic L.A. story from the two Hungarians to... to now. Judy, we lived in studio apartments above one another. Now we're both in one bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on up, we've got film producer extraordinaire. Hey, how you doing? So since you're the producer of the Eating Out series, I heard there's a part four in the works. It's a number four and a number five. Ah! If you got a part for a lady reporter who's needed in, in the gay plot to hook in the, the gay guy or the straight guy, maybe I could like be following a hot lead and, and I need to, to seduce the, the hot gay guy and turn him straight or something. Well, we will work on that, Dolly. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, see, that's what you got to do with the party. You got to network. So this is how you network. 
I got a filmmaker here. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? What film you got in the festival? The film is called Is It Just Me? It's sort of a Serena Bergerac over the internet between two guys. It's the perils of 21st century dating, really, you know? Exactly. I put my Craigslist ad out there, Sandy Blonde 46. <laughs> and let me tell you, the responses I got were not what I was looking for. Let me put it that right, way. Right, right. Hello. Uh, I was in a movie and I co produced a movie called uh, Marine Story. Now, Marine Story. So, this is a story of, of Marines persevering through hardship. Story of one Marine persevering through hardship, yes. It's a sort of a, everyone's sort of struggling to find their place in the world. Aren't we all? Yes. It sounds like you're telling my story. It's a universal story. You know that, those are the best. Those are the best ones. Ah, uh, Go-Go Reject. Go-Go Reject. And it's about a wannabe Go-Go dancer who sort of decides to live out his childhood fantasy of being Jennifer Beals in Flashdance by becoming a, a Go-Go dancer as an adult. I'll wear my leg warmers to the theater. Perfection. We Perfection. Have a leg warmer night, I think. Everybody wear their leg warmers. In the aisles. We're all going to be okay. hopping and skipping down the aisle. We'll be, I know. We'll be there. You'll find me there. With you okay. arm in arm. Now, I have here some lovely ladies. Hello. Hello. And what, what is your film about? It was originally a web series designed for the internet, but we put it all together and cut it into a feature. And it's basically, it's about a couple, two lesbian therapists. So you act with your, your real life partner in the film, in the series. And does that create any tensions on the set or is it all just good fun? It's good and it's bad. Because we're partners, we push each other a little bit more than I think just two actors would. But it also, I think, makes for pretty good chemistry, if I do say so myself. And they're playing opposites of their own characters. So it really helps to spice it up, let's just say that. I do find a little role reversal does spice things up often. Now we got Jim Hansen here. Yeah, that's you know my name. I know you by name, sir. Now you're a filmmaker in the festival this year. Yes. What can we expect? What What's the... Just chunks of pretty parts. It's all dismantled and dismembered. It literally dismembered, dismantled, little pretty parts. Sounds like, like, like a few nightmares I've had. It could cause a nightmare or a giggle. Or a giggle. <laughs> really, the, the, the continuum is very blurred between the two. Now we met your co-director, Jim Henson. Yes. I dare to say that our movie is the only film in Outfest with full frontal doll nudity. Any special rating for that? I don't know if that's... Ratings board hasn't told us yet, so... So far you're in the clear. Exactly. Fingers crossed. Oh got... my god, Damiana, I've been all over you all day, all night long here at the Outfest uh, launch. As a Latina director, I'm just like, God bless you for being on the interweb. Why, thank you. You know, we Latinas, we gotta stick together. We gotta... It's a support network here. La Raza. Familia. Now, your film Hooters is premiering at the festival this year. I'm so proud. Hooters, women, breasts, owls, lesbian culture, and comedy. Everything we love. And lots of vagina. A lot of vagina. Yeah, I have a film in the festival. It's actually part of the Legacy Project. It's called The Liberation of Griffith Park. It was actually made in 1971, which is amazing because it's almost 40 years old, and I'm only 30. Uh, naturally, I was going to say 17. Now, we have your filmmaker, Michael Lucid. Hi. Now, tell us about your film. I have a short in the festival called Hairbox Thrillers. It's a psychological thriller all acted by hair dye boxes. And I got to tell you, sometimes when I'm walking down the beauty aisle, some of those hair dye boxes just feel like they're looking at me, like their eyes are following me down the aisle. Creepy. Yeah, I know they are pretty creepy. We've got Philip Roth here. And uh, I heard a little something about a little something that you found at a certain yoga school. But the fellas don't wear clothes. Yeah, I'm the founder of Naked Yoga Los Angeles. And I'm making a new movie about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict with a naked yoga scene in it. Well, let me ask you this. Is the naked yoga scene metaphorical for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Yeah, I hadn't thought of it, but sure. If only they would all get together and do naked yoga, you wouldn't have all these horrible things going on. One good old sun salutation, and we might have some harmony in the Middle East. We've got head programmer Kim Utani. Hello. The festival's right around the corner. What, what do we got to look forward to? What, which, which one should I be circling in my program? Oh, you know, it's really hard to choose because there's great stuff from opening night, Howl, to all the great short film programs. Not support the LGBTs and their cinematic visions. Exactly. And see great films. Well, what a party. These LGBTs are quite a lively bunch. Now I got my work cut out for me. I better start circling all my movie picks in the festival program. This is Damiana Garcia signing off. See you at the festival.